Hello and good afternoon. Or good afternoon and hello. <laughs> Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode 505. Yes, we crossed, crossed over the 500 mark last weekend. And the topic today is actually part five, part six in a series, excuse me, part six in a series of um, the masculinization of women, part six, take care of yourself. So before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about and why I'm pedantic about this topic. My name is Barry Silby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I hope, surf, I hope strong, successful women find and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for the last couple of years, I've been doing these Facebook Lives called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. So today is episode number 505. Yes, there's been a few. And the topic today is, um, well, it's actually part six again in the series. So it's, mes it's the masculinization of women, part six. So there's been five parts before this. And this is, ladies, please take care of yourselves. And this will touch on a couple of couple of items I did yesterday and day before, which was um, softer is stronger, which is two days ago. And yesterday was stop competing. I remember that's good. So, and there were more before that because that's part four and part five. This is part six. So I'm expanding on what I talked about yesterday and the day before. And if you want to know what I said yesterday and the day before, you have to go back and watch those. That's episode five hundred and five. Sorry. 504 and 503. Yes, a lot of these out there. So let's start, let's jump in, shall we? Because I'm not just talking about, well, let me start with what I know is the obvious part, and then we'll get into some deeper levels that maybe you haven't realized before. So one is putting your self-care as a priority in your life. For some people, women, let's talk about women, since this is about focusing about women who've been masculine masculinized, there's this forgetfulness around self-care, around self-love, self-support, and self, um, self-love, basically. And this drive to succeed in the world, to be in business and do what you need to do, as I mentioned in previous broadcasts in this series, have been that women have forgotten how to disengage that masculine behavior to be, come back to the feminine, which is a lot of people, women fall into this trap. So I'm suggesting this might be something you do differently, where you actually realize when you get home, you can disengage that wiring, that circuit, that keeps you driven, pushing, competing, making things happen, so you can start taking care of yourself. And I did mention a couple of times how doing self-care practices that are feminine are really smart choices. And it's part of the self-care package I'm talking about. But these are the obvious ones. So meaning that you get enough sleep, that you take care of yourself with exercise of some sort, that you eat healthy, that you drink enough water, that you take baths and with soap suds and candles and nice music, which I recommended uh, two days ago. I guess that one of those. So those are things that are pretty obvious. Now here's a couple of things you haven't thought about before perhaps. Self-care and taking care of yourself also means stop carrying judgments against yourself. Should I say that one again? Stop carrying judgments against yourself. It's so easy for us to forget that the internal process we have in our minds and in our hearts too can be attacking our, self, our well-being, our self-esteem whilst we're doing self-care activities. So for example, maybe you're someone who's like, you know, I'm going to take care of myself, so I'm going to go to a, a, a yoga class. Ladies, you go to yoga classes, I trust, if you do. And then you spend the whole class judging yourself against the teacher or other people in the class thinking you're not good enough. That's not effective, and it's certainly not self-supporting. So the tendency you may carry to judge yourself, to self-flagellate so to speak is not a self-care practice I recommend because it's not self-care let's be clear about that so taking care of yourself is not just physical actions and physical attributes things you do that take care of your physical body it's also to take care of your emotional and mental bodies too speaking of emotional bodies another self-care practice I recommend highly besides forgiving yourself for those judgments is to take care of yourself by loving yourself it's such a temptation to hold grudges against yourself for what you didn't do or did do with somebody else, for not succeeding or getting the pay raise or not doing the right thing or saying the wrong words or whatever it is you did. Now, making mistakes one thing. And yes, having some sort of course corrective action is a good thing too. However, when you're not actually focusing 
on making peace with those things inside by releasing those pains, those judgments, those stabs to your own heart. When you start doing that actively, that becomes more self-care focused. So self-care really is, and taking care of yourself is not just a physical activity. It definitely is an emotional and mental thing too. Mental thing, a mental practice. There's a good word, practice, that I highly recommend. And if you haven't been doing this, here's some recommendations. Besides the list I mentioned of self-care activities being exercise, food, um, sleep, water, those sort of things that are simple things you can do physically. Also, do these things daily. Keep a journal that is specifically for this practice, not just your diary if you have one of those or whatever else you do for making notes for your day. But have a journal separate from that, where it's just notepad, whatever it is. And I want you to do... Let's start with two, two things I recommend right now. First of all, let's start with gratitude. As simple as this is, as simple as it is to, be grat to do gratitude, if you do this as a physical, intentional practice every single day for a month of listing at least, let's say five things that each day you've done or haven't done or avoided or taken care of yourself where you're grateful for it, your life will change and transform in 30 days. That alone. Secondly, here's another practice you can do is look back at your day and review or capture any moments where you felt like you've judged yourself, where you inflicted upon yourself negative feelings, negative words, definitely negative language, and write down in the journal that you forgive yourself for doing it. So this, this second piece is going to be a list of forgivenesses. Basically what it is, is a chance to actually apply healing to the parts inside that hurt. This is a healing action, by the way. And by applying loving that way, by applying forgiveness that way, you actually start to make peace inside and healing your own body. Because judgments get stuck in your system, energetically and physically. Yes, this is a fact of life. The more you judge, the more you're going to be crustier and more stiff because you're locking up your system. The more you forgive and let yourself off the hook, the more fluid and more free you'll be. And as a woman, you want that. Now, a couple of pieces I want to throw in there. If you're carrying something from the past that you have not forgiven, and some of you are already going, oh, I know what that is right away. If you haven't got clear about this, let me drop a few thoughts on this one. Things you didn't do for your parents when you were younger. Things you did against your parents when you were younger. Things you did in your marriage or before you got married. Things you did to an ex-boyfriend. Things you did um, with money. Things you did with your health. Things you did with your comparison with your friends. All of these things that you did when you were younger quite possibly aren't yet resolved. If you didn't do anything actively, consciously, intentionally to make peace with, forgive, release, make, and accept them and, and have compassion for those, they're still um, like stack, sticking, stack, sticking swords or, or knives in your own heart. They hurt you. Now, you may not be aware of them because you've gone numb on these over the last 5, 10, 20, 30 years, but they're still having an action inside, which is they're upsetting your system. So, if that's the case, I mentioned earlier about forgiveness, it sounds sometimes so simplistic, but having forgiveness for those things that you have done or not done that you judge yourself about is a must-do activity for you to be free. These things to talk about, they're big stuff, I know, and I know for a Friday afternoon you listen to this and going, well, this is heavy stuff. This is important. If you, if you have a weekend open right now, I would highly recommend taking this to heart for the next two days to work on this because it will change your life for the better. It will heal your heart and release old energies that are stuck so you can be free to be more fully yourself. The benefits of doing such a simple thing as making, having gratitude for your day and for forgiving yourself for past judgments is it renews you, it restores you. And for many women out there, it softens you back to your power. And I mentioned this two days ago, was a softer is stronger. This is part of that. Carrying those um, heavy bricks of judgment and blame and resentment and guilt upset and everything else are like carrying like 15 pounds in each hand of outstretched of judgment that are going to keep wearing your hands down. You won't be able to carry that weight. So rather than dragging that weight around and feeling exhausted, worn out, upset, ringing a bell, doing this sort of work will free up your energy so you can be restored. So whether you have six hours of sleep or seven hours of sleep or four hours of sleep, 
doing this will give you more benefit than the, uh, those many hours of sleep, in fact. I'm not saying you should skip sleep to do this, but I am saying if you do this as well, your sleep will be more fulfilling, more whole, and you'll be more restored. This is what taking your care this is what taking care of yourself is really about. It's a fundamental um, reminder that self-care is not just physical, it's emotional and mental as well. Some of you might be saying, what about spiritual? The truth is that you don't need to take care of yourself on the spiritual level because spirit is not is in not impacted by daily life. However, by connecting with your spiritual self through meditation, through yoga, through other practices that connect you to that place inside, you can renew yourself from that place. Because connecting to spirit is like tapping into an endless support system and it can restore you. But it also really works better or more effectively when you already have a, um, a whole vessel in which to fill it up with the energy. So the forgiveness, the gratitude, the releasing, the acceptance, the healing, all that stuff is like resurfacing that vessel so it's solid and can hold maybe a solid container to hold the download from spirit as it were. And if you're someone who does spiritual work you know that, that meditation is a key part of it but you also may not realize that doing these actions, these interactions of your internal um, environment will be just as effective. I'm passionate about this as you may have figured out which is why a lot of my work is, is around this with my clients. As much as I'm about helping attract amazing relationships, a lot of it is the seeding work we do before that to clear the blocks you can have it. So I'm advising you that if you're not ready for a relationship or you're not ready in the career, by removing those blocks you can actually get in advance towards what you really want, but it starts again with self-care. So taking care of yourself is not just a simple thing. However, self-care is an extremely powerful way of transforming your life and it's all within your grasp. I think this makes sense. For those who haven't seen my broadcast before, I do have a couple of things I invite you to check out because if this is something you were stuck with and you want to move forward on, I have three or four things I can say you might want to jump into. One of which is my self-care practice. I've talked about it so many times and it really is this straightforward because it is about honoring yourself and raising your own vibration, like filling up your own tanks first so you can function in the world more effectively. It is so tempting to keep going, keep driving, keep trying to make things happen. And the reality is after a period of time, you'll be worn out because you have been taking care of yourself on the emotional levels. So physical self-care is vital for so many things, but without the mental and emotional self-care as well, you'll be limited in what you can do. So my self-care practice, which really is actually a guided self-care, sorry, a guided self-love mirror meditation practice, long-term, um, is one of the things I recommend highly because if you do that every day for 30 days, yeah, I talk about 30 days a lot. If you do that twice a day for 30 days, one practice in the morning, one in the evening, each one's an audio I give you, you will transform your life completely. The gratitude journal, same thing. 30 days will transform your life completely as well. Doing forgiveness every day for 30 days. Again, transform your life. Yes, all these things will transform your life. The key is, you gotta do them. So the, there's the gratitude and, and self-forgiveness things you can do on your own. The self-love practice you can do yourself, but I recommend you check out my, what I offer. It might just fill the bill for you, or fit the bill for you. Also, if you want to go deeper and you want to really do some deep healing work from your past traumas, past upsets, past stuckness, and you want to get some outside support, that's what I'm here for. You can sign up for a discovery session, which is no cost. It's simply a chance that we can talk and we can see if there's something I can help you with, and then we can take some steps towards doing that. For that, if you go to my website, we can get, sign up for the chat. I'll put them in the comments, by the way, the links. So the first one, by the way, the self-love practice is, everything's on my website, which is barrysilvey.com. So go to barrysilvey.com forward slash self-love the self-love practice <clears throat> and barrysober.com forward slash chat for a discovery session with me those two things I recommend I'd love to hear from you if you're doing this already or if you're starting to work on this because frankly if you're not why not loving yourself appreciating yourself will restore your energy your fuel your sexuality your sensuality your connection back to who you are and I tell you now you do this we will all benefit I know I'm being selfish by asking saying that so Take care of yourself. I mean that literally and figuratively. Honor, respect, appreciate, forgive, love, accept, support yourself. That's your homework. If you want to use my, my offerings, please do. If you want to do it on your own, that's great too. But please, for the sake of the world, for the sake of yourself, taking care of yourself first is a massive choice that will change everybody's lives around you, especially yours. With that, I thank you for watching. Quick reminders. This is uh, my daily Facebook Live. 
So Facebook first, then YouTube, then podcast. And the links, <coughs> excuse me, the links to go see those um, on my Facebook Live is on my personal page, which you may be watching it now, or in replay. I also put it onto my business page where you can track me, which is Barry Selby.author. So please like that page. And you can track my Facebook Lives there. They can replay there. Also on YouTube, if you're watching, for a YouTube watch, viewer watching this, the rest of my broadcasts are under the Messages from the Masculine playlist on my channel, on my username, which is Barry Selby. All my social media is that. And please subscribe, and then you can watch them there. And third, they're going into my podcast. You can listen to them when you're driving or when you're running or biking, whatever you're doing. If you go to um, Messages from the Masculine on iTunes, subscribe, download there. That's where you find my stuff. I appreciate you being with me. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for being with me. And I hope this has been of value to you. Please let me know in the comments. And again, if you have any questions, support, I'll put the links in there for you to sign up, to reach out, get help. And uh, yeah, take care of yourself. You deserve it. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time. And take care, as always. And enjoy your weekend. Bye.